putting it on a sample data set and then I'll be use, uh, uh, using this code and running it on our data set. So uh, first I'll be explaining the code. So let's go to the main idea behind this code which is over here. So first we are going to read the file and uh, which which will be of the uh, of the format of gml and then we'll i have drawn uh, this graph over here which we can see yeah using this command by uh, the net library of network x and then i have calculated the number of nodes then we have formed an adjacency matrix and filled it according to the uh, weights of the edges then I have uh, calculated the degree of e each of the nodes. Then we are running our uh, Girvan Newman algorithm. So this is the function to calculate the degree. And then this is the function which runs a base main Girvan Newman algorithm. So we see for the first step in the Girvan Newman algorithm is to find uh, the edge betweenness which is done using this function so when we go over here we are uh, the input is the graph and we see that there are that there are uh, high betweenness the edges with the high betweenness are taken into account and removed uh, and till there are no edges left and then the, we recalculate the edge betweenness of the graph again and again. Also, we calculate the modularity count for the Girvan Newman algorithm in the main function, which is done over here. So, here we see that uh, based on the degree and uh, uh, at the adjacency matrix, we are using it to calculate the modularity and we are storing it in. In this mod, uh, variable, the mod variable, we are keeping the highest value into account and we want our algorithm to uh, detect communities which have the highest modularity. That is our goal. So, your, uh, when uh, we'll be running this loop again and again uh, till we find the best uh, modularity ratio. Once we have found that until all the edges have been um, broken down into nodes, we are going to do this. See, if the number of edges is is equal to zero, then we break from this uh, loop and come out. And then we come out and then we are just going to print it. Print the max modularity and uh, what are the modularities found. So I am going to now show you this code running on a sample data set so i have given the input in this code the sample data set looks something like this it is uh, these are the edges between the nodes and symbolizing these are the nodes now let's run the code So there are 251 nodes and uh, by the first iteration is calculated uh, uh, is done over here and giving a modularity of 0.26 then again we are running this and we see the modularity has increased to 0.268 and Thus, we see over here that from the graph, which was quite obvious that there were uh, w there was one or two main communities and other components were separate communities individually, which can be seen from the community detected over here. We see that there is a big community and all other communities are separate elements only. So yeah, we understood the main idea using the sample data set. Now we'll be running this code on the less miserable data set. The less miserable data set uh, can be seen over here. There are nodes over here based on the characters of the novel. 
and the edges and the weightage of the uh, relationship or uh, is given over here like values are given between the source node and the target node so we'll be running this now so yeah so there are 77 characters which we can see over here and initially uh, it detected that there are two communities and it calculated the modularity was 0 0.07 then it again with uh, continued uh, for one more iteration and found that the modularity was 0 0.25 and it went on went on went on went on and finally it found uh, with the modularity 0 0.38 and still it kept checking that if it is the highest or there are more but uh, then it saw that it is still less and lastly it reported that the highest one is the 0.538 and that there are 11 communities which are detected which can be seen over here that the this turns out to be a community which is over here this one and then this turns out to be a community which is a separate node over here so yeah we see that community detection is very uh, easy to visualize using the Girvan Newman algorithm. I think uh, I have learned a lot during this project and I would like to thank my professor Wu Dapang for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.